Hey, my name is Marcus Burton, Director of Product Development with CWMP. We're here in this session to talk about something called uh, single input, single output, and compare that with multiple input, multiple output. So in the early days of 802.11 Wi-Fi, uh, 802.11 Prime, 802.11A, and then B, and then G, all use single input, single output. Now this technology is, uh, is pretty simple. So draw a transmitter there and then an access point here. And we're going to give this access point just one antenna and one radio. That antenna connects to the radio. And when this transmitter transmits a signal, this access point can only receive on one antenna. Obviously, it only has one antenna. But that's the, how the technology with single input, single output works. You have only a single antenna to receive and a single antenna to transmit. Now, that doesn't provide any any diversity or really it doesn't provide for robust reception and transmission of signals. So in a direct line of sight where you only receive one signal, it's no big deal. But in a lot of RF environments, you get reflections and you have uh, you know, multipath fading and you have all these other RF characteristics that are happening to the RF signal that cause problems when you only receive or sample the RF medium from one antenna. So one of the original original resolutions to single input, single output is something called antenna diversity. So we're still going to use single input, single output, but this antenna is also going to be connected down here to the radio. And though you can still only transmit and receive with one of these two antennas, you at least have some backup, some backup uh, in, in diversity in your RF sampling. So both of these antennas are going to receive the same signal and the better one will be processed. So then, uh, depending on which one receives the signal, the same one will then transmit the next signal. And that'll happen every time you receive a data frame, or, or any type of 802.11 frame, I guess, is that uh, it'll receive uh, on the best antenna and then transmit back out that same one. So there's some pretty obvious limitations there with single input, single output, in that you, you're really only getting the benefit of, of one antenna with, with maybe some diversity built in. With multiple input, multiple output, there's some new intelligence and some new logic within the access point that allows you to use multiple radios. So we'll continue here with the illustration of only two radios, but this is a multiple input, multiple output system. So when this transmitter transmits a signal, that same signal will be received by both of these antennas. And both of these antennas are going to process that signal. So it's not just that they're sampling that signal to determine which one is better. They're both going to receive it and both going to process it. And then the intelligence or the logic within the access point is going to interpret both of those signals. And it's going to, uh, it's going to basically take, um, it's going to take both of those signals and determine uh, what the original signal was based, based on a combination of those two signals. Cause, cause Every signal is going to have a, some amount of corruption and some amount of uh, loss in amplitude. Uh, so it's not going to look exactly like the original signal. Uh, so that's the job of the receiver is to interpret uh, the received signal and say, what was the original signal? So when you, again, in the situation where you have multiple reflected signals, both of these antennas are going to receive and process all of these reflected signals. And it actually is, is a good thing with MIMO to have multiple reflected signals because that gives you basically more samples from which to determine what was that original transmitted signal. So with single input, single output, you, you can sample from multiple antennas called antenna diversity, but you can only receive or transmit from one. And if the combination of those signals is corrupt, then you end up with corruption. Uh, and you can't, you can't understand or determine with much accuracy what that original signal was. With multiple input, multiple output, you've got sampling from multiple different antennas. And you, you may have up to, well, at least the current 802.11n standard defines up to four uh, antennas. There's nothing in the market today with those capabilities. But at least up to three today, um, three different antennas receive and transmit chains that can take a signal and can combine it for maximum effort uh, or for, for maximum interpretation effort. So uh, with a higher degree of accuracy and reliability, you can say, OK, this is what the original transmitted signal was. Therefore, it results in fewer errors, uh, fewer retries, and ultimately better throughput and better performance for the wireless LAN. So that's the difference between single input, single output. Single input is 
or SISO is 802.11 prime and then 802.11b, a, and g, whereas MIMO is 802.11n, and then of course all future standards of Wi-Fi are going to be built on MIMO technology as well. So again, my name is Marcus Burton. Uh, for more information, feel free to visit cwmp.com. Thanks for watching.